welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually going to be going through the new Stance car. I'm going to try and do a budget build. I'm going to try and run through the shop and only use things that we have here. I'm going to do as much as possible not to spend a single dollar on this car. Let's walk through it real quick, give you guys the lowdown. This is the desirable green that you guys all go for. This car has been repainted black. It is a VTEC engine. The unfortunate side is it's automatic. It's DC header down here. I think it's on a full cat back exhaust. This car is fresh out of Georgia. On both front fenders, you will notice somebody already put bacon rolls on it. Even though the car has been repainted for some reason, everything on it is faded, unless this is all primer that was never cleared or paint that was never cleared. It is currently sitting on 17 by sevens, a little bit of a low pro tire, 137,000 miles. I'm gonna put this on the lift so we can get a visual of the undercarriage. I know you guys are gonna to wanna to see how clean this car is, especially my folks from up north. So, throw it on the lift. And all my fuel and brake lines, by the way, run inside the car. Yeah, there's no clamps on the return lines, by the way. But anyway, all the brake lines and fuel lines run inside the car now with a back seat. Rear struts poked up through just like my EG hatch. Fuel lines all hooked up just the way they would come unhooked under the car. Wheel wells cut out so they clear. I know I don't show a lot of details on exactly how the suspension set up on this car, but trust me, I already have a video walking through the entire setup. It's almost identical. Obviously it's gonna be different brand names or a couple different pieces and parts there. But it's literally the identical concept on how my coilovers and suspension is set up completely. I mean, pulling the toilet brush out was probably the first no-brainer, but this is probably the nastiest car I think I've ever bought. And I'm not even exaggerating. Look at how much trash is in this. But you could tell teenage kids must have owned it. As you can see here, I decided to rip the carpet out first thing because it's just going to get soaked as soon as we hit any puddles. I told y'all this car was dirty as hell. This motherfucker's got roaches. What? How? How do you have roaches in your car? motherfucker's in the vent now. Shore end and tilted spindles. This is the first time I've ever tilted spindles. Step-by-step -step process. First, you're going to have to go ahead and cut these things down. I decided I wanted to pin my spindles, so I tack welded them in place, and then I drilled holes all the way through. Got my camber dialed in at 13 degrees to match my rear camber angle. 
cut the tacks off, beveled, and then realigned it, tack welded it in place, heated it up, laid multiple passes. As you can see here, I hit it with a grinder again to cut the tack welds back off. So between most of my welds, I also wire wheeled to clean up the metal so that every time I made a new pass, the metal was clean, free of all of the burnt slag. This also allows a little bit of time for the metal to cool, but not too much. A lot of people don't know that cast metal should be preheated before welded, and it also needs to not exceed a specific temperature, in which I do not know the exacts on, but I do allow some time between passes. I also welded the ends of each of these pins in solid, as well as the bevels were indentated enough that on my first pass they hit the pins inside the first weld. And for the final stages, sink your welds into some sand and leave it in there for like an hour. You hit the jack, hard as fuck. No, I put it in the park, you didn't hear it grind? Oh. Uh, Boom! You hit the jack, hard as fuck. Like I was in a rush to get things off the lift, so I kind of just hustled up and got things done. But we ended up raising the motor, hooking up the rear brake lines, getting those bled out, and taking care of the alignment so we don't wear tires. Now I know you guys are going to ask how I raised my motor. That is how two of the three mounts are done. And to top off these adjustable coilovers, they hit my hood. Even with a bolt taken out. So hood risers are in the future. I'm sorry in advance, it pains me to do this. To the page fills in Cause I got it like a niche I gotta piss Look up in the toilet when I'm done See excellence Okay 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 When it quit Vickily The epitome Of hysterically Can the raps lyrically When you rap You live vicariously But the bars pay off When I'm 33 Never smoke a blunt But I roll the weed God damn it I broke No nicotine Gotta get that shit I'm a fucking fiend I like to quit But I guess we'll see Yo stop